with you because he shouldn't be out in public. Stand the man Johnson. Zachary! You pick that up. but you can call me Stan. Al? And of course you know Edward Thackeray the third. Al? Where's Al? I Al? got a cat, but I don't know where Al is. Al, get out here. Uh, do you know where Al is? I'm Al is going to be performing. He I'm was, not doing this. I'm performing a magic trick. I dressed him up as a rabbit. I'm I need to produce it. And he won't, he won't do it? Al, Al get up here. It. Al, carrot. Want a carrot, Al? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a carrot. Good bunny. You have to get in the hat, so... Nice uh, bunny. In the hat. Thackeray, you take oh, the bait, no, and I'll get on with the show. I'm for the carrot. I'm for the carrot. Al? Okay, Al. You wanted to be on television, right? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do the news, not in a rabbit well, suit. you're not going to do the news. This is... Well, you, you may do the news eventually, but this is... Warming I'm up. Me. You gotta work your way up to the Before I can take a rabbit out of the On this show today, you already know Al and Thackeray, and of course the uh, pink Come gorilla on. is supposed okay, to be here, so do not be alarmed. Here you also, go. Also, we Come have, on, all the way from New York oh, City, oh, magician Peter Wilson, and of course the something Alf Orchestra, Larry. Curly. And Curly. Yes, they are the something Alf Orchestra. And we have an absolute dynamite show today it's guaranteed and i'm going to go to the desk while you guys do something so go for it oh my god oh, you got him in the hat no. Al is in the hat what a trick here, that was here. here how do we keep him in there i don't like him you know. in my this ain't funny Al. Al. someday you'll be an anchor man just be patient get me out of here and I'm no Al, you'll be all right just no. relax get me relax out. Al. i think he's stuck get me out he's stuck oh, oh. Don't forget, he was oh, sent. Zachary. He was sent by station management, oh. and we don't want anything bad oh, to happen no. to him. Or we'll be getting memos. If you guys don't oh. mind, I'll carry on with the show and introduce our first guest. Is that okay? Oh, oh, oh. Do you want me to get the door? Get our out. first guest. Oh, Al, I'll oh. hold Al in there for you. I'm gonna get our you. Our first Stanley. guest, as quiet in there. Ouch! Ow! Don't ever do that again. Ah. Our first guest, as I mentioned, is. A master oh, of illusion, and he's from New York City, You're and his name is family. Peter Samuelson. Here is Peter. Oh. Oh. Hi. How you doing, Peter? Great. Sir. Nice to see you. Nice I'm to just see trying you. to keep Al in the hat. You go right to your spot and do your thing, and we'll get Al calm down here. Al, watch this. Watch this, Al. It's going to be good. Watch it. One of the things that I'd like to do for you is I'd like to give you a thought. Illusion and the secrets of illusions are in your imagination. As you go through life, you're going to find that at some point, well, at some point, you might lose some money. It happens. You may lose a possession, like a ring. Sometimes we make friends. Sometimes we lose friends. But there's one thing that nobody can take from you. They're truly our most precious possession. So as a way of saying hello, I'd like to share with you one of my most precious possessions. See, when I was a child, I used to go exploring through the house. And in my father's study, with all his mathematics and his physics books, there was something that always caught my eye. On his desk, there was a paperweight. It's made out of glass so that you could see through it. And it was filled with water. Inside was a wintry scene, snow on the ground. And when you shook it up, there was a blizzard, a snowstorm. I always wanted to get inside.
Now, Al, we'll get you out of there soon, you better okay? Get me Don't out worry of here. about it. Ridiculous. Would, you, would you like something to eat, Al? You got it. I need a pizza. <laughs> you need a pizza? Well, he's entitled to Jesus, one phone cold call. In here. Why is it so cold in here? Uh, <laughs> Peter, yeah. Peter made some snow, Al. Just relax. Order your pizza and let's get the, this over with, okay? Hello, Gus? <laughs> Gus? Yeah, I like to have an extra large pizza with carrots. <laughs> and uh, we'll have carrots and uh, no pepperoni. Okay, Al. Okay, that's it, okay? It'll uh, be well, here he doesn't soon. Know where to deliver Can you it? take Al somewhere while I talk to Peter? You better get now. me out of here, you back, Ray. I'm going to make you the fourth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Al. You better hurry up. You getting on my nerves. Okay, Peter, I know, and everybody in the I'm studio in. audience wants to know, and everybody watching at home wants to know, how did you do that? Oh, very well. <laughs> yes, you did. It, you did Thanks. do it very well. It's, it's a matter of, of loving the snow like this and actually being able to create a little Ooh. bit of magic. Now, Do illusionists don't here. like to give away their secrets, do they? No, we don't. We don't. Do you share them with other professionals? You do, actually. I have a group of friends, and we work on things, and we, we always are experimenting and trying to now, create new illusions. Now, the snow illusion with yes. the, the ball, you created yes. that, did you not? It's an ancient illusion, the, the, the uh, actual bit of... Uh, visual there is, is quite old, but the concept of finding what it's about is sort of what I specialize in, and finding out about what, what the little bits of illusion and, and visuals are about, what they talk about. So that is mine, yes. Did you uh, spill a lot of water as you were learning that? And, I sure did. And mess up a lot of rugs? Yes. What else have you brought? Well, you know, it's interesting. You were asking me how, how you get started in all of this stuff. Yes. You're sort of curious about that, how, because that's what you were asking. How do magicians, well, learn, you know, sure. how do illusionists learn how to create these illusions? And I, when I was very young, I was tricked I'm into I'm watching it. your hands. I'm That's not even going to look That's at you. Good. I'm going to see what's going on here. When I, was, when I was growing up, I thought all this was real. I was convinced that there was such a thing as, you know, as, as real stuff. And, and I went through high school, paging through catalog after catalog, trying to find the real thing. I never found it. It's not that it doesn't exist, because it does. It's just that it's... Do I put Imaginary. this in my pocket and it's go for to, you to a take a look at. shop? Or? You know if that's real, or you can... It's, it's solid. real. It's, it's metal. It's Drop it on your desk. You'll hear it, you see. I might break the desk. Definitely hear how it rings real. clear like that? Metal. That's how you can try yeah. tell if it's solid. Just see if it rings clear. You and can try this at home with glasses and china where it works just as well. Uh -huh. just <laughs> Bad idea. Okay, that seems to be... We haven't done any... Rehearsed no, any no. of this? This is this real, This is interesting. So. You see, I grew up thinking there was such a thing as this real stuff. And I... I thought that you could actually do real magic. You see, the real interesting thing is here, you can take a, a ring and a rope, take the ring like so, and tie a knot in it. Now, there's no way to get the, the ring from out here onto the center of the rope without passing an end through it. That would be my theory. Yes. Unless you take it like so, open this up a little bit, so you get a bigger loop, like that. Take the ring and give it a little toss, just like this. You'll find you can actually get it to tie itself right onto the center of the rope, just like that. Now, some people say, that's incredible. How do you do that? Like I said, I do it very well. But I was it's just about an to illusion. say that. I was about to say that's incredible. Didn't mean to uh, step on your line there. No, it's, it's all right. See, some people think this is really on the rope. We call this an illusion because you can't really do it. But it looks like it's on there. If you do me a favor, would you please, with your right hand, would you hold on? Yeah, hold on tight to both ends of the rope there. Don't pull on it, but just hold on tight. You see, uh, an illusionist can take a ring and make it look like it goes on or comes off. Don't believe them. They really can't do that. They can't take it on or put it... My, Let me make this a little clearer. My very first ever trick, and I got your finger. You did it perfect. Okay. Perfect. Here, let go of that end, if you will. You're a little bit late holding on to that. Grab a hold of this end. I'm new, okay. There you go. I'm, hold I'm tight. Hold it down against the desk there. That'll keep it solid. Oh! Okay. If you hold it on there, I can take the ring, I can place it onto the rope, I can twist it on, I can tie it on. I can't really take it off, but you I can create the illusion. You can't get it off because I'm holding this end, and I know there's no way you're ever getting this off. And I'll keep a hold of this end, and this ring won't come close to either end, as you're watching very closely. If you, you look at this, get it off. I'm going to try, but I can't really do it, so no, we do what we can't. call an illusion. You actually make it look like it comes off. It seems to melt right through I the roof, up. just I like that. I give up. We're going to come back and talk some more with Peter Samuelson. Uh, Rufus had a problem recently. He was hanging around the station here in Funtown, and he got really hungry, and he found out that the only food in the machines was for humans. So he made a phone call. So I'm a little tired of all this people food. Like, it's all junk food, too. And it's not good for dogs or people, but uh, especially dogs. Guy. 
Oh, oh yeah, this is a ruthless calling. Um, I'm here at the office and there's no stuff for dogs in the machine. Um, I want to see some bones in there right away, please. So, uh, thank you. Goodbye. Um, uh, hi, uh, are you the guy from the vending company? Yeah, are you the guy that called? Oh, yeah, you got here really quick. I really appreciate that. Um, you yeah, got we, the bones? Yeah, we got the dog bones for you. Oh, this is just great. Uh, how many did you bring, sir? I brought you a dozen. A dozen? Oh, boy, that's going to last me a long time. Um, how much are they? They're going to be 60 cents each, Rufus. Oh, that's a little steep for a dog, but, um, well, I make a lot of money, so I guess I can afford it. They're good. Oh, have you tried them? Not yet. Oh, well, I'll try one, and I'll call you and let you know how they are, and maybe you want to do this in some of your other machines. We'll put them in every week. Okay, thanks a lot for coming. They sure do wrap it well, though. It's kind of hard to get at it. I don't think they wrap uh, the people food that much. Um, and it's all broken, too. Boy, if I were a people, I'd sure complain about this. How many different illusions can you do? 524. And you can yesterday. Do. Yesterday. Yeah, so there by may the be end more of today, today it'll be 525. So you learn one a day. Just about. There's some. You always are learning new things, Stand. and then you. Excuse me. So the I'm band sorry, seems to be interrupting sorry. now. We just. I was wondering if Al. it's been a while since the band's done a number. I was wondering if we could maybe do a song. No, because you see, we have a guest. Well, Peter is what, here from New York to I'm show us some he's illusions. A great, he's a great illusionist, too. Thank you. You're very good, Peter. Thanks. So what is it? You're a great band. Well, What's we your have point? A, thank you. We have a, a magic song. Would that be all right? A magic song? Yeah. Can you perform kind of... with a live band? Sure. Yeah, want to try well, you guys do your song, well, and maybe you. Peter can do some things here. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're really ready for it. Ready. Oh, well, go for it. You just go whenever you want. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. ready. Sure. I have the easy job here. I just have to sit and watch, I guess, now. Yeah.
right back with Peter Samuelson. Almost got the idea of getting uh, uh, getting poor Al back. Could you wave the wand for me? I'd be happy. Me in a hurry. Come on. Oh, thank you very much. Our thank pleasure. You. Oh, oh dear. Ah, oh, now you don't want don't to get violent. Don't ever do that again. Well, I sort of have done that again. You see. Stan has disappeared. Oh, no. What? And Where I don't have him in a hat or anything. He's just vanished completely. Well, I was just in the hat, and he ain't in there. I looked around for him. I took a little look Peter, around. could no. you possibly get him back? How about if we look in? I, I brought along a box of secrets. Uh -huh. Maybe we should take a look in the secrets and see if maybe he's there. Would that happen to be it? Uh, it looks kind of like it. Kind of secretive. Yeah. Let, uh, let's just, I mean, I, here, I, I wanted to show you. Turn it around. You want to give me a hand here, turn it around? Yeah, sure. Hold on a second. There you go, just, just spin it around there. Well, he's not on the outside. So let's move it back a little bit here. Put on top. Put it back into his, his little marks here. Of course, if he does disappear, I could take over the show, couldn't I? You stop could. getting ideas in your head. You understand me? I'll tell you what, let's take a look inside. Okay. Nope, not in there. He's not in there? No, I'll tell you what, we're going to tip it forward. Okay. Tip it forward. Roll this, tip this forward. Oh, it's heavy. Careful. Yeah? It's a big box. Yeah. We're gonna take a look inside. Give it a little look. Zachary, you wanna come on this side and see if you would the thing? Yeah. And I'll hold that for you. He ain't no. out. He's not in there. Oh, well, Let's drop this lid. Going to be the Zachary show. Well, wait a second. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's just wave your hand over it. And say, do me a favor, say the magic words. No, something else. Sorry, Stan. Thanks, guys. You did that with a lot of finesse. Yeah, well, you put me in a hat. You know? I always wanted to be a beautiful young assistant, and now I are. Give me my hat back. You're back! Oh, am I Welcome back? Welcome back. It's oh, so nice well, to see you. Peter, you. thank you for bringing right? me back. A pleasure. A pleasure. Have a seat on the couch. Thanks. Oh, where was I? We were talking about secrets. Oh, yes. Secrets. Do you have any? Oh, I do. You know, I, people are always asking where a magician finds their secrets. I was telling you that I learned at a very young age, but I thought I'd show you where I keep them. Okay. But I, I saw some in that box. Yeah, did you? Don't tell them. No. no but are there no. others? There are others. Okay. I, I'll show you. Can I, can I ask for a, a, a helper from the audience? Is okay, that okay? Okay, we need a victim. I mean, a volunteer. Uh, what should the volunteer I need, have? I need, I need, they should, it should be a, a young lady. A young lady. Uh, who's wearing a ring. A young lady with a oh, ring. There's, there's a young lady with a ring. Let's bring her down here with a round of applause. Here's our volunteer. Hi. Does she have a ring? Hi, come on up here. What's your name? Sonia? Can Sonia. Hi, Sonia. You want to sit next to Al? Next Sonia, to whatever happens, we are not responsible. Okay? Want a Hi. bite? No? No carrots, Al? no carrots. We don't have time for feeding the Sonia, guests. Sonia, do you know where a magician keeps his, uh, his secrets? I keep mine right here. Let you touch them. No, no. But I'll tell you what. I want to, just to prove that you take good care of them, I need to borrow your ring, just to make sure. Can I do that? Okay, if it comes off. Oh, it does. I want you holding the box, though, before I touch your ring, all right? You see, because I also have here a piece of tissue paper. Tissue paper. And your ring, may I? Oh, it's a beautiful little gold ring. That's gorgeous. I promise to take very Real good gold. care of it. Real no. gold. Look okay. at that. And I promise Don't to take very it. good care. As a matter of fact, I'll take so good care of this ring that you have to watch very carefully, okay? Okay. I hope you don't lose it. We only have a minute left. You know left. if that's real gold? We don't want to have to find it. I'll show you what, how you can tell if it's real gold. You simply heat the ring gently, a little warmth, 
Oh, no. No, it uh, wasn't real gold. Sonia? <laughs> no, you're it was okay. real gold. We're sorry about your ring, Thanks but a you're lot. okay. You... Uh, how about a round of applause for Sonia, who just lost a family heirloom. Do me a favor, undo we're, that knob We're there. running out of time That's here okay, well, we better hurry then. Reach inside can there, wait. take a look. What's gonna Reach happen? Reach in, what's in there? Oh, it's a flower. Show them the flower. Reach in there, grab it up. Hold it up high so they can see it. Hold it up high, higher, higher. Oh, look, they sent you a package. Oh, what's in it, though? Flowers. What's in it? Look, inside of the package. It better be the ring. Inside of here, there Whoa, is Sonia, a ring. Is that your ring? Thank you, Sonia. Can you keep the flower?